Back to Fantastic Mia. This looks like, looks like the same bottle, but it's not. It's a 92 point wine. It's like originally a $42 bottle. I got it on sale, uh, a little lower price than $42, around 30 something. Um, excuse me, this is a Malbec blend with Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it tastes almost like a Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, by the nose, I can recognize this, the way that Chilean cab smells. Um, and I normally don't like Chilean wines, but this is, has some like spicy berry to it. Uh, very toasty, a light, very, very light vanilla in the middle. Mm, pretty decent. It's nicely balanced, well rounded. It's called Claus de Argentine. It's 2017. And it's very, very interesting, guys. I, I was re it was recommended to me by this guy that works in the uh, wine department. We started talking about wine, and some of the stuff he told me about, I started to realize that he does know his wines pretty good. So I took his advice. I was looking for something, still trying to buy a decently priced um, Bordeaux or you know French wine that I can present to you guys. But I haven't really found one that they recommend to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, go back and search some more for a decent price. I was gonna try and sub buy some Chateau Saint Pierre, but you know, usually French wines are not my favorite. I'm not ready to spend eighty dollars on something that I may not like. To be honest with you, hmm, wow, yeah, this is fantastic. Look at the color. Still light though, but very deep purple. I mean, this is really, really good, guys. I'm gonna tell you, this is not my style. I'm, I'm Malbec and Cabernet. I like Cabernet. I don't like Cabernet from Chile. Uh, that's what I think they put in here. That's the only reason they're able to um, make such a great wine from uh, such a low low price. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very herbal, just like Chilean wines. Um, very spicy in the beginning. Toasty vanilla notes in the middle. Very light acidity. Hmm. Well rounded. And the, 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 the oaky taste is not overwhelming. It's very like toasty, almost like toasty notes. Of um, almost like a little cinnamon in the middle. Almost. Not quite though. Can't put my finger on it. A little mushroom too. Very, very earthy. Um, you definitely get the mouthfeel. You get everything in it. This is, this is guys, a 92 point bottle for a great price. Um, and even though I picked up, the, I picked this up for like thirty-two dollars uh, at one of the stores locally here. Little um, local stores that sell all kinds of different wines. Hmm. Again, this is what I want to emphasize: is this is not my style, but it's a beautiful wine. It's nicely structured, and the winemaker really, really gave it all the different notes. So it doesn't just hit you once and you're like, oh my God, I don't like mushroom and, I, and it stays with it. It changes gradually in your palate and it takes you back. Hmm. It's very complex. So it takes you time to figure it out. And that's what keeps me interested. When you keep tasting the wine, even though it may not be your favorite, but you keep going back to it and you're like, hmm, what's in there? How did they do that? How did they achieve all these different flavors in one bottle? Hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The back at the end, the mouthfeel in the back, right here. Just a full taste of the wine after all those cute great little notes oh so delightful guys 
Now, see, I can, I, I can, I don't like bold wines though, but this is a little bold, but it's got a perfect balance of everything else. Magical. You can only admire a wine like this because it has all the things. Not necessarily that you're looking for, but it has a lot of different things that you can appreciate. Hmm. God, this is good, guys. Welcome back to Fantastic Me. I really wish I had somebody else here with me talking about this red blend. Uh, close the Argentine um, red blend Reserva, which means reserve. And um, I mean, God, it comes from uh, Mendoza, 70% Malbec, 30% Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, you can taste more than Malbec, but you can definitely smell the cabinet. Uh, oak treatment. 75% nine months in French oak, oak barrel 25% in stainless steel tank. Wow. Hey, now you know how they did it. And more than likely, I, I'm not 100% sure that they got the Cabernet from Chile, but it definitely smells like it. Hmm. Hmm. Cheers to you guys. Again, welcome back to my testing me. Look at this bottle. I want you to really see. This is this is guys, 92 points. And it's not lower shelf is not like super high, but it is the 92 points is not something that they're just saying it's 92 points because they want to sell it. Because the taste proves it. And it's not good. Okay guys, thank you. Welcome back to my testing me. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers to you. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bottle because it is the good. <laughs>